Yes, it's a good battle. You know, Charles is a fierce competitor. Uh, he really brings out the best in me and, and also the best in our team. We do a good job of double teaming Charles at night. He didn't shoot the ba basketball as well, and maybe didn't get to the board as well as he wanted to, but he still was a force to be reckoned with. He's a one man team, and he really made us uh, stretch our defense out. So he, he's just a uh, phenomenal ball player, and I think he's the hardest sword at 16. He's, he's, he's a different kind of cat, isn't he? I mean, he likes to he likes to have a little fun out there and jab, jab a little bit back and forth. Uh, I don't know. If, I'm sure you didn't see because the action was going on. But down there at the end, he was holding Jerome down on the floor. Well, then he gets up off the floor. And I mean, he has fun. Well, he's the kind of player that, you know, the sell tickets. He's the kind of player that, you know, the fans want to see. He's the kind of player that a lot of players wish they had. That kind of, uh, that, that, that kind of uh, presence out on the floor. And, uh, you know, the John McEnroe of... Uh, professional basketball, sort of uh, Charles Barkley, but you know he, he's just an uh, exciting player to watch, you know, on and off the floor, and, and also uh, not only does he talk out on the floor, but you know he gets some things done too. Yeah.